So we got ourselves a plow truck. So I think it turned out pretty well. It's got the plow up front. You got the uh, wheels on the side. You got the uh, crew cab, if you will, the crew bed. You know, it's not a full bed. It's that flat bed that has some tools and stuff on it. Um, it could be a fairly large plow truck or it could be a small truck. Um, I think we're going with some sort of city truck, right? Some sort of city plow truck. And uh, it's got the curve up here. And uh, I probably should put the like the curve over here. You ever see the plow trucks where they're off centered, right? And it looks like that. That's actually probably more accurate of a plow truck, right? Where the there's this like cone at the end, like a surfer cone at the end. So they plow um, not just the road, but the sidewalk or the, the, the side of the street as well. And they throw the snow much further this way. So it probably looks more like that and the more asymmetrical version of the plow truck. Okay, let's go check out how I built this. So we got some fun today that we need to build. We need to build a plow truck. So let's put five minutes on the clock. Oops, uh, five minutes on the clock. Let's get the stopwatch going. Okay, five minutes on the clock, let's go. So a plow truck. So we get to use the wheels, which I'm actually really excited about because I haven't used the wheels in a long time in these, in these builds. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, trucks are really, a fun thing to build with Legos and uh, let's see what we can do. So a plow truck. So we got to make sure we get a plow. So we're going to use that for the plow, for the front plow. Um, is that actually too low? We might have to beef that up just one. Uh, we'll see. I like that kind of shape, that two by six shape. And if we could add a plow to the front, That'd be good. Or maybe I need to do, you know, maybe just a little bit longer here. There we go. So that would be a pretty good size truck. I think that works better. Let's zoom in or zoom out. Let's just get this a little bit more in frame, okay? Then, we need a plow to the, for the front, something like that. We have a lot of colors for two by four plates, so we could use maybe white instead, but we'll see. I like the blue. Um, we need the glass. Let's bring that over here. That's going to be used for the truck, but it's going to be higher. Um, we need some fenders. I wonder if we could use these to make some fenders, right? So like the back of the truck like that. That is a possibility. Let's keep that in mind. And then for the main part of the truck, we need to beef it up a little bit, make it taller, right? So there we have that. And then maybe this over here for the bed of the truck. Like that. Hmm? What do we think of that? Maybe it's going to be a little further back. Okay, so that's a cool bed of the truck. Now we got to build the cabin of the truck itself. So something along that, that line. Now we're using green for the color of the truck. Maybe we use this. Yeah, something like that. And then follow with the green theme. We'll use that. Do I have another one of these? I don't, I'm using colors that I normally don't use, which is um, hard and nice at the same time. Like I like having the need to have to build a little differently because I haven't used these in a long time. Okay, so there's the plow. 
it's getting too tall as you can see the wheels aren't touching anymore um, interesting though interesting interesting maybe we have to go down a little bit here okay so the truck maybe it gets a little like that and then we need something on for its roof so it's a green and hmm can I beat that up a little bit yeah we're gonna use that so maybe it's a fifth it maybe has a fifth wheel within the truck as well interesting so now we have to fix the plow because the plow is big which I like but it's too big that the wheels don't touch no the wheels are still touching just a little bit okay then what can we do to add some embellishments I guess is the right word A one by three is what I'm looking for. I don't think I have that. Maybe I can just build it up a little. Hmm? Whoop. I'm trying to make the side of the truck a little less um, axle-y, if you will, right? Something a little more solid. Something like this. And like that. See, it looks like it gives more structure to the actual side of the truck, right? Oh, we're five minutes out. We're over our five minute time. Oh, darn. I can't get my fingers in there for some reason. Well, I'm gonna keep going until I get this finished, right? So, there you go, you do that, then you do this, then we're gonna do another brown on the front. Like that. Maybe even a black one to add to that. Yep. That's looking pretty good. So that's a plow truck. I don't like this color though. Can I do something else? Oh, I got blacks. Let's switch it up. <coughs> Let's get rid of that tan color. The tan would work as like an interior color for the green truck, but I think what we need to do is go with the black for the understructure. I think that's going to add a lot of... A lot of yeah the color scheme looks better now I gotta replace this this doesn't look right hmm what can we do I have a light green that I can just go like this with yes but what that means it's got to do something extra if I'm gonna do that then I need to go straight up like that and now the cab needs a back to it a one by four what do I have in one by four I have one one by twos maybe it's like this or maybe it's black. I'm gonna add this black color there. And I'm gonna take this out and use these darker green pieces. And do I have another color for the top? And this dark green. Come on. Come on, made up. Okay. So if this, I don't like the white. Let's take the white off. 
I could use this one brown piece, but that leaves a big gap here. Or one green piece. Why don't we go with this um, reddish brown for the top. There. That color scheme looks a lot better. The plow truck is looking pretty good, I think. Let's see, is there anything else? I mean, it's got a mismatch of colors, right? You got some browns, you got some dark greens, you got some blacks, all thrown together. But I think you get the overall feel of it, right? The plow truck, right? It's a two-tone. Maybe that's like the, you know, most plow trucks are owned by the city or the state. Maybe this is the colors of the city, right? This dark green and light green or the, the colors of the state. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's this, the colors of the, of the state. Now, I wonder, what if I did something different? What if I did a bigger plow. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a bigger plow. Or even, so I'm way over, I'm like, I'm at 10 minutes now. I didn't expect it to do, to be this much. Time, but that's where it is. That's what it is. There's a cool plow truck. So that's a pretty cool plow truck. If you think I did a good job, leave a comment down below. If you think I could have done something different with the, the kit that we have, please leave a comment or give us suggestions of how we can improve our channel. So go ahead and build this yourself. Give it a try mash some pieces that you have together like you saw me building this i didn't have all the right colors but that doesn't matter just go ahead and build what you have um build with what you have and then something comes of it you get creative you get to, you know you get to try different techniques and you get to try different things so go ahead and give that a try we'd really like to see any of your creations built so make sure to share them on our social medias, links down below, and just hashtag make share daily. We'd love to see your creations each and every day as well. Okay, let's go check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. Well, the plow truck was a cool build. Now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're gonna build tomorrow. Okay, spinning the wheel, we got nothing but snow, ice, and winter sports on the board here. So what do we have? A hockey puck. That sounds like a really simple build, but it could be complex. Building a, a circle, you know, a disc, that's pretty hard in Legos when you have nuts but blocks. So let's go check out how I built a hockey puck out of 221 pieces. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and f to find out when we're releasing our new videos. And we have other playlists that you can also check out, like Technic Tuesday and FLL Friday and a bunch of others. So go check those out and also go check out our giveaway video where we're giving away a whole bunch of Lego items and other things as well. So go check that video out and figure out how you can enter to win. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.